Hey guys, so here we are at the stables, um, just doing your walkthrough, uh, running an eye over our horses. Uh, no doubt Gary's reports are extremely accurate, but um, you know, while I do these these walkthroughs, why not run a camera, as we mentioned last time? So here are the boards. Um, obviously, these are where the horses are staying in terms of their box numbers, and there are a few horses that get weighted. Um, I mean weights aren't a huge thing, it's, it's obviously more uh, on the eye of the trainer and, and, and what they produce on the track. Okay guys, so we're going to walk through, we'll see Gary and Sharon working on the nominations. And next to them is Cash Strapped in box three. We move on to box five where we'll find Meteor Gal. Although she did a lot wrong in her first trial, she won, I believe. Very talented filly, this girl. Very talented horse. Unfortunately, we had a lovely owner pass away in Meteor Gal. Um, Harold Linford, who I uh, was pretty close to. He was a, he was a an older gentleman who was quite unwell. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad he got to see her trial. He really loved this filly from the you know the first day he laid eyes on her and. I'm just glad he got to got to see her here at an open day, and and obviously got to watch her trial. He was very happy, uh, but uh, obviously, uh, um, well, you know, we're now looking to uh, move on Harold's share for the family. It's a 10% share, so uh, you know, if you're interested, please do give me a ring or drop me an email. Um, you can catch her trial on uh, the Racing New South Wales website. Box 8, we've got Sizzling Gaze. Right next to Fast Knits in Box 9. Sizzling Gaze is just... Come back from the water walker. Praying to the gods above that we get some dry weather. She's doing quite well. Uh, naturally, any horse that's won... Two races and two placings from eight starts isn't doing too badly at all. Um, and when placed correctly, uh, you know, she uh, she will win plenty more. Lovely horse to have around the stable. Just, she's been rather unlucky with this weather. But as we say, luck always turns. Here's a war horse, fast knits. She doesn't stop this girl. Pays her way, very consistent. She's only won a couple of races, but she's always in the placings, always very close. And with these uh, excellent prize money rises we've had, and we're getting another one in October, horses like these are very handy to have around because you, you know, they really do pay their own way. And on the box 10, we've got the very talented Seeking Asylum. Seeking Asylum has won four races already from a dozen starts, so you know, horses don't even win that in their whole career. First up, last preparation. She ran a cracking second at Randwick, and uh, she did have a very uh, difficult to find um, muscle tightness in her uh, hindquarter. Um, absolutely no one could find it. Sometimes these horses go through their whole career without, you know, having these things assessed or found. But luckily we did. And uh, obviously there was a reason why after that first up run we never saw her 
race up to what we know she can, but she's a tremendous wet tracker and very talented on her day. And as you can see, those ears pinning back. She's a bit of a grumpy girl. Hey guys, here in 11 and 12, we've got Cosmic Rush and Undoubtable. Cosmic Rush has been racing very well of late. Again, another horse is putting together a really nice record. Um, a couple of wins and some placings from uh, 10 or 11 starts. Um, he's, uh, he's a real nice horse, very hard to train, uh, given that um, he's not the soundest horse, but the stable have figured it out. Um, you know, Gary's got his head around it now in terms of how to work him, how to prepare him for race day. He's just getting into his feed here. As you can see his feed bin. And um, he's really putting together a nice, neat record. And of course, we've got Undoubtable here, the fellow who doesn't like to jump out of the gates. If you saw his last race at Kembla, he missed the start by a few lengths again. He was dead last. You couldn't even see him in the uh, in the picture in the screen. In the last 50 metres, he just sprouted wings and just missed out for third. It was an unbelievable run. And if he can just jump that bit closer, uh, he would have won. So it's a matter of what would have been. But in saying that, uh, his last run indicated that he's ready to uh, notch up win number four for us. And we're gonna see Freedom Fighter. Freedom Fighter was a December foal, very immature, had his little issues, um, but uh, has been given plenty of time in the paddock. Here we are, he's actually in box 20. Uh, he's a nice big boy, really furnishing out. I think we're going to see some good things from this horse, this preparation. He has shown ability. His win uh, at the Provincials uh, at his maiden was tremendous. He flew home, won at 50 to 1. We knew he had that ability. A few owners were on him at that money. Um, so uh, he has shown his fair share. And next to him is a talented Vincero who won his last trial and will be debuting in town in a three-year-old maiden at Warwick Farm. By Stratum, as you all know, we've got plenty of horses by that particular sire. He's done very well for us. Unfortunately, Stratum passed away, for those that don't know. Bit of a shock for me and for Gary, of course. Gary's one of the top trainers with the breed um, in the country in terms of prize money and wins. Um, I suppose we're lucky enough to get a... Uh, a nice uh, stratum this year, uh, a, a filly who would, with her pedigree, turn out to be a very valuable broodmare proposition now that the stallion's gone. She's impeccably bred and she's, in, she's an impeccable type. Um, and I wish uh, we could buy more of them come a couple of years time, but unfortunately that will no longer be the case. Here's Vincero. So we're gonna take a walk over to box 32 where Cassini's star is staying. Again, this is a girl we're not giving up on. Um, you know, she has all the makings of a nice stay, but it just has not put it together. Uh, sometimes they just need some time. And hopefully that does her the trick. She's had a nice spell. She's now back in work and looking very well. She's done a lot of growing. And uh, hopefully, this girl can put it together. We might have a nice, a nice little stayer. Now we're here at boxes 35, 36, and 37, where we have a cosmic cameo. Got a win on the board, back on track. We'll be trolling on Friday and going back to the races again. It was nice to see him win the other day, win well. Test the shadow, of course. 
about to hit the $600,000 mark in prize money. Again, we do have a 5% share available in this horse now. Um, the owners had to pull out, unfortunately. And actually, no one wants to pull out of a, a city class horse like this, but uh, some situations call for it. So uh, someone's loss could be someone else's very lucky gain because uh, he will be racing in town and will be visiting the Gold Coast again in January. And we've got Next Level who had a tremendous preparation last time in and um, really looking forward to uh, him stepping up the bar again raising the bar for us and uh, winning more races yet. He agrees. Here we are at box 26. This is the all too hard purple blood filly. Big girl. She's already 16 hands and she can gallop. Those that saw her track Gallop on video would have been very impressed. Yes, she agrees. She's 85% sold, guys. Not much of her left. She's been very popular. So if you're interested, don't waste any time. It's a lovely filly. I have not seen, nor has Gary seen. There you go again, agreeing. A filly who, who, who at first side appears to need time to grow into herself and, and she will grow into herself over time as it, and make a nicer three-year-old but uh, you know she just gets around so well for a big girl um, and she's handling everything so well so all's going better than planned the all too hard out of purple blood She's a three-quarter sister to a group three winning two-year-old who won four races at two. Here's Straturbo. Almost missed him. Hello, boy. just been told that they've changed the Magic Millions 1100 metre sprint to a 1200 metre which obviously doesn't work in our favour but uh, we'll work something out when the time comes nothing usually stops this fellow This is Sebring Express. Hello, girl. So she was the in-house promotion we did, and just speaking to Gary, we have another Sebring uh, that we'll be soon releasing to the owners. Uh, like this filly, he'll be sold at cost price, um, and will be exclusive to Elite Thoroughbreds, current and past owners only. There'll be more news on that later, but uh, they all just go so well for a CC brings that he, he seems like a perfect horse to uh, to keep amongst our current owners. Yeah. For those that saw this filly work, she uh, seems to be quite smart, and will be trialling on Friday. Many of you knew her as Sebring. Miss Exy, but uh, uh, she has now been named Sebring Express. And that's it guys, that's a walkthrough, we've had a look at all our horses. Hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, walk along with me. And uh, we'll get the camera going again in four or five weeks time.